The trial balance is a unique part of the double entry accounting system. A trial balance is prepared at the end of the reporting period to determine the accuracy of the general ledger. The value of the debits must equal the value of the credits. And if the trial balance balances, you can proceed to the next stage in the process, which would be the preparation of the accounting reports. If the trial balance doesn't balance, you would have to work out why before you proceeded to, to prepare the accounting reports. So this is a checking mechanism before we proceed to the preparation of the accounting reports. The first part of preparing a trial balance is to go to the general ledger, that's where all the ledger accounts are kept, and you have to determine a footed balance of each ledger account, that is the balance or the value of every ledger account. To do that, let's have a look at the bank account as an example. You add up the big side and you take away the little side. So in this case, in the bank account, we add up the debits, a total of uh, $79,000 there, and you take away the other side, $28,100, and the difference will be $50,900. You write that in on the debit side because the debits are bigger than the credits. You do this in pencil and you can just put a little circle in pencil around that figure and that becomes the footed balance. That is the value of that ledger account. We added up the big side, which was the debits. We took away the little side, the credit. The difference was this $50,900. That's called the footed balance. And that means that at this point in time, the bank account has a balance of $50,900 and it's recorded on the debit side because the debits were greater than the credits. The stock control account, you add up the debits, in this case that would be 55000 you take away the credits, cost of sales 20000 and then you'll be left with a balance of 35000 That represents the value of the stock at that point in time, 35000 So you write that in, in pencil, put a little circle around it like that, and that is the footed balance of a stock control account the big side less the little side and you put the difference the balance on the big side which in this case $35,000 assets stock capital there's only uh, values on the credit side so this is easy you just add up those values which is $91,000 and you uh, write that in in pencil and put a little circle around it like that. That's the footed balance for capital. That represents the value of the capital account at this point in time, $91,000. If there is only one figure, that's the footed balance. So you can just put a circle around that figure there for sales. Same thing for expenses. The footed balance must be the figure because there's only one figure there, $6,000. So just put a little circle around it. Office assets, the same. $60,000, just put that around uh, the $60,000, that's the footed balance for office assets. The loan has values on both sides, you, you add up the big side, 28000 take away the little side, 3000 put the balance back on the big side, $25,000 is the balance, that represents the footed balance for the loan account. The GST, you add up the big side, 10000 take away the little side, 2100 and you're left with a balance over there in the GST clearing account of, uh, what's that, um, $7,900. And you put a little circle around that. That represents the footed balance of the GST clearing account, a liability. Cost of sales, uh, only one figure, so that's the footed balance. Same with the um, drawings, $2,000. So that's, that becomes the, uh, the foot of balance as well. So we just put a little circle around that one as well. Once we've done that, we just record those values in the trial balance. It doesn't matter which order you do this in. Um, debit balances will go in the debit column, of course. Credit balances will go in the credit column. So that means that drawings and expenses and assets will end up in the debit balance column. And liabilities, capital and revenue will end up in the credit column. You add it up and it should balance. If it does, it means that the um, general ledger is accurate. If it doesn't, then just read these three things, one, two, and three, put on the pause button, and that's what happens if it doesn't balance.